one of the easiest thing hunts and a highly popular one, which I really don't want to recommend. But here is the haunted tomb. This spawn is located in Darasha, but it's part of the quest of the Dream Courts, so you need to start by going to POH and talking to the NPC Stricken Soul. Say hi, yes, yes, and then your own character name, and that's it. That grants you access to the Spectre spawns. No level is required, just head to the tomb in Darasha. Here you will only find one creature, the Burster Spectre, making it a highly efficient creature to finish 4 bestiary and use Praise at. That is, if you are lucky enough to get the respawn, because as one of the Spectre spawns, it comes with a heavy contest for it, and most servers will have people line up as next for the spawn. I already did a rant about the specters for my video for gazers, so I will keep it short this time. I am against the idea of waiting hours to get a spawn. I much rather hunt something else for less experience but at a time that works for me. For that reason, I don't have much experience hunting here. I have some team hunts here and there, but not enough to have an accurate data. I'm gonna have to go with estimates, starting with a lower recommendation. I wanna say it is at least level 200 on the EK. Not only it makes sense because you get access to some elemental fire weapons, but also supreme health pots. It will still be dangerous with big pulls, but should be doable. The rest of the party should be within the level range, and having a sorcerer over 175 for the sap strength spell will help a lot. Additionally, on this spawn, RPs don't help much, so often people don't bring one. Obviously, you shouldn't do that if the paladin is part of your team, but if you're hunting with randoms, then losing out on not having a full party doesn't affect this spawn that much. With that said, let's break down the lap. By the entrance to the spawn will be about 3 bursts on the passage. These are not gonna be part of the lap unless you start to overkill. Technically, the lap starts in the rooms after that, which by the way, you will be coming from the north, since I think doing the lap counterclockwise is better. So so when coming from the north, you want to speed up and try to bring the first two bursters behind you to the entrance of the second rooms, and if you are able to get to the spot before the bursters of the second room come out, then you can get a 4 to 6 bursters pool, otherwise you end up with just 4. Either way, you need to also stand by the right side of the passage because waves get cut to the west, for whatever reason the game works like that, so if a creature ends up by the wall to the right, it still gets hit by the waves, but that doesn't happen if it is on the left side instead. The next one to the south also has the same variables. In some cases, if I ended up with a full HP burster that comes in late or something like that, I will lure that one south to connect with the ones by the entrance, but only do that in this case, or if you are overkilling the spawn. Now, after this, backtrack and go in the third room to the right and follow the path. For this one, you want to stand around these spots. If you do a bit of movement towards the north before setting up, you often end with 6 bursters, otherwise you end up with 5. And ideally, I will hug the wall so that both mages get a wave spot without moving. The next pools are dependent on your level and comfort. If you are on the low end of levels or want to play the safer, stop around here. That will get you 5 to 6 bursters, but if you go slightly further to this spot, then you can get 7 to 8, which will be hard for a level 200. So I will do this at 250 or so. Now, depending on your decision, the next one is also affected. If you went for the safer approach, then the next pool will also have 4 to 6 bursters stopping around here. And if you decide for the harder pool instead, then lure the bursters on the way to the next pool. Be aware that most of the times one loses aggro on the EK because of the two-way, but there is firebomb spots on the next pool that don't affect the lap. Which by the way, excessive use of firebombs does hurt the experience. Since the lap is short, they will still be there when you come back, and if they are on the way creatures need to walk through, then it lowers experience. So be mindful of the bombs usage. As for the safer pool, it will end up being just a bit further south and ends with about 5 bursters. Then continue going south and set near this stone. If you pick East, then you can lure extra bursters that are technically part of the next pool and will only make it harder on the EK if he is low level. After that, the next pool, just a bit to the east, also can affect the hard lap, since before going in the two-way, you can take a peek towards the north and lure the burster from there to take it away for the fourth pool. But that's optional and doesn't respawn on time always. Now, back at the rooms, the lap is completed. The experience, at least my estimation, sits around the 2.5kk raw at level 200s, assuming the EK does have an elemental weapon to attack. Now, if you're still here, then here you go. A silly min max and tip. If you click on the coffins across the spawns as you walk to the pools, you have a chance of summoning mummies. These are actual creatures, so they give XP and loot. XP is just a tiny bit extra, but the loot could be some flash of feminine banding fluid, which can add a bit of profit. Additionally, the spawn is huntable at lower levels, with defensive praise or EKs using bad weapons like Fire Sword or Axes, but at that point, I would recommend to just do an elemental imbuement instead. This is mostly relevant for new servers though. 
And that's all I got for this video. If you are not able to get this spawn because of being in a popular server, then check out this playlist for more Team Hunt spawns. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Nice Star, and Torda Slasher.